Hello, uh, this is my mostly 3D printed 6S dual drive RC buggy, and it could also be used as a stadium truck. It's modeled in SolidWorks and it contains mostly 3D printed parts, except for uh, the aluminum chassis plate, servos, uh, some servo linkages, the shocks, and the rear transmission that I got from uh, Traxxas. But it didn't start out 6S. It actually started out more of a concept. I wanted to see if I could build something like this. And I have as far back as when I was 14, getting into RC, doing a lot of tinkering in my dad's garage. After I made the front end, I dove in real deep and started designing the rest of it, incorporating parts uh, that I've had from previous RC cars and uh, other bits that I've gotten online. Of course, I got impatient and wanted to make it zoom around without finishing the chassis plate, so you can see here it's got a lot of flex. After I cut out, bent, and cleaned up the chassis plate, I attached it and really couldn't wait to see it rip. Of course, I destroyed it in the process, and from then on, I've been making it out of slightly more flexible materials like PETG and TPU instead of just PLA. The skid plates and the beefier materials uh, really helped make this thing a lot more forgiving in spills and bumps and flips and everything. I was really happy with it at this point where it was uh, using a brushed DC motor, 15 turn, and uh, used a 2S electro battery with the Traxxas XL5 speed controller. Broke the linkage, going a little hard, but it's cool. Still works, still turns. But of course, just like anyone in RC, you want to see your creations have more power. I had a 6S motor and speed control that I wanted to see if fit in it, so I shoved the motor in the gearbox and it just barely fit. So I opened up CAD and started adjusting.
I'm only running a 17 tooth pinion on the 90 tooth spur gear. It's a high, high torque. Thing has skid plates front and rear. Aluminum plate chassis with a uh, 30 degree bend up front. I'm just using my uh, my old shocks from the uh, Armored Granite, and this is the. Uh, DLX uh, 185 with the 2050 kV motor arm. With two 3S batteries in it, it weighs roughly 6.2 pounds. So it's pretty light for the amount of power that's going to it. Probably about 3.3 kilowatts. Here it is on the 4S, 2 2S LiPo's. Currently, the front suspension mount is made of the TPU to absorb uh, front-on hits. The rear shock tower is actually also made out of TPU. I've uh, noticed that this thing takes a lot, a lot of uh, punishment, um, especially if you, uh, if you flip it. Uh, broken a lot of these. Um, also the rear hubs are also made out of TPU and uh, I found that this really makes this whole thing really resilient to crashes. I, uh, I sent it right into my uh, the back wheel of my car and uh, I checked it and zero brakes. Thing I've uh, noticed is this thing self rides and tracks pretty straight. Not a gyro. This was just with the uh, front suspension geometry. So I can do these big throws without making it lose control.
there's a lot more weight in the back. It does kind of steer quite a bit on the acceleration. But on the deceleration, it oversteers. So as long as you're uh, neutral with the throttle, you can get a lot more out of the full geometry. There it is.